you know, it's, it's about almost letting go as well and, and allowing them to be the young adult and fulfil their own um, dreams. Whereas as a parent, it's quite easy for you to keep them wrapped in cotton wool and say, oh, I don't think he's ready for that and I don't think he wants this. And, oh, she, obviously. And it's not about that. It's about letting them live their lives the way, the way they want to. Um, and as I said, West Fife have given them all these opportunities. Here at the West Fife Community Sports Service, we support young adults who are in transition leaving school or college who are going to be receiving services from adult services, social work service. Once West Fife Community Support Service have been identified as the, the agency that families would like to support their youngster, we would invite their representatives along to the transition meetings in school and then in the final year of school, um, the West Five Community Support would set, start sending in their workers into school to get to know the pupils. The whole point of that would be to um, get to know the young person, um, find out what they want to do um, when they leave, because it's very tailored, the service is very tailored to, to what they want to do when they leave school. It's very active, um, sort of very flexible. Um, it's not, and it's a different routine from school. Um, it's not, you know, structured from nine till four o'clock it's, it's depending on what the young person wants to do. Once we sort of start going to school and speaking to the, getting to know the kids, we then also then start to build up a rapport with the family so they sort of think, oh right, this is what they're doing and this is what it can look like. And so when the actual leaving time comes for that person leaving school, coming into our support service means that they've already got that little bit of knowledge, they know our faces, they know that we're going to phone them up and there's going to be something happening there for their son or daughter. So it means that they kind of like start to relax a little bit. It's very scary but they do start to relax a little bit and sort of think well there is something there and it is starting to happen I can see it I can feel it so that's that's one of the main benefits and breaks down some of the fear for folk. We were trying to figure out what to do with Wayne when he had left with Mill High School and once we'd spoken to, to Anna about the services that would be offered to Wayne we decided to go down that route for Wayne, it was the best option. It's daunting at the beginning because you hear things about like, you know, starting once we do this, we'll get into independent travel and you're thinking, well, that seems such a long way, you know, from what we thought Wayne was capable of. But um, at the beginning, yeah, we was apprehensive, but I gave it about a week and Wayne was really into it and enjoying himself and making friends and the staff were lovely as well. staff are really good and really supportive. Um, they communicate all the time um, through um, texts every week. Um, Wendy gets um, a timetable to follow every week um, and it changes from week to week so you know exactly what she's doing each week. I can speak to anybody in the team at the drop of a hat, you know, whether it be um, Anna or Jackie or, you know, the guys who we're out with. If I can't get hold of one person, there's, you know, there's a, a huge list of, of names and if I had any concerns about anything you know that there's somebody at the end of the phone. I'm never sort of left thinking oh, I wonder what happened today. The lines of communication are always open, very accessible. We try and communicate with the families on a regular basis or the carers and, and that, that includes the, the young adults uh, to make sure that we're providing the best service that we can and that the young adults are, are doing the activities that they, they want to do and that they really enjoy. We get a chance to speak to the guys during support um, daily um, so that we can get feedback from them to make sure um, that they're, they're enjoying the things and they choose to, 
do the activities that they're doing. The benefits that people use when they're going out and doing their activities, it's not just a matter of doing their activities, it's about all the other social skills that come into that. So it may look like it's just karate or swimming or music or drawing or whatever, but it's all the other benefits that come and skills that come with that um, about you know using public transport and having, having to say where they're going to for the destination, developing those skills, buying tickets for things, interact with members of the community, turn taking, waiting in queues, all of these sorts of things are things that people are learning in a very subtle way. So, you know, from the outside it looks like a group of people going for a swim or whatever, but there's a lot of a lot of work that has to go in there about developing people's individual skills along that way. Stephen absolutely loves it because Stephen loves being outside all the time and they have so many activities, they're non-stop, every day is something different, every other week something different. Um, and he's just grown in confidence with it. He, he obviously is now speaking into a lot more people that he's involved with and he's made friends as well. You can see he has made friends, even though it's difficult for him. And he's tried so many things that he's never tried before, which is really good. She does uh, various activities. She's out on uh, shopping, she goes swimming, she goes uh, to, she'd be making stuff at the, the glass blown place, something that I would never thought she would try and by herself and she just thoroughly enjoys herself going out. She doesn't like days where the youth team's not on. The range of activities that they do is, is second to none um, and they might, they'll try one thing and if it doesn't work, you know, it's fine, okay, we'll move on to something else. But it's all about giving them the option, giving them the chance, you know, to do all these things and without West Fife, Kirk would never have had the opportunities that he has at the moment I and mean, he's got a better social life than, than me and probably all my friends put together. He's out every single day of the week um, and enjoying life. run a prepare for work course which is run twice a year um, and it's for eight weeks at a time. Um, the service users coming along to that, uh, I would assess them to see how work ready they are. Um, after that stage I would then look into uh, a work placement for them to go in and experience um, you know, the world of work. It increases uh, an independence because when they go into work um, that's their very own little job and uh, we try and build it up by bringing away, hopefully, to bring away that support so they're working away on their own and we could also help with travel so it's going to be a, a, an own independent thing for the service user. Um, so in that way, you know, they, they really, really do enjoy um, working. They've given her a chance to, to, to actually have a work placement and experience working and she seems to have come on leaps and bounds and really enjoys it. I think she gets a lot out of it and um, I, I think her employers quite enjoyed her being there as well and have extended her hours. So it's really been fantastic. He likes to come in and us what he's been doing and explain it as much as he can. These explanations are a lot better now because I think the staff are talking to him throughout the whatever he's doing throughout the day, you know, and so he's got a wee bit more to say when he comes back. So that's a definite difference I've noticed since he started with them, um, which makes a lot more difference if you're trying to understand him and trying to understand where he's coming from or have a conversation with him. It's been a joy to see him get on with it and do well. Well, Wendy doesn't have very much speech, but you can tell by her general demeanour and her body language um, that she, she's really enjoying it and she's come on really well since she started. Um, the increase in her self-confidence is phenomenal and she's become quite um, 
an independent young lady um, since she's been with West Five. He's turned into a really lovely, confident young man. Um, speech has really come along a lot more. Um, he talks more about what he's done for the day. He's done plenty of activities and he's happy coming home and telling me what he's done because it's all fun and um, he really has turned into a very confident, happy young man. Oh, it's been a big positive, a big positive experience. It was, uh, it's, the youth team's really helped us a lot where it's taken a lot off our mind of what we were going to do with Danielle when she left school. Um, the, I couldn't thank them enough. Lady has become more mature. She's been more self-confident. Um, she does more things on her own, than, more than what we could have taught her. And um, she listens to her peers more often. All in all, the, the youth team's been really, really good. I would recommend them to anybody. There's no pressure here. There's, uh, he's just out with the guys, he's enjoying himself. But he's also, you know, it's a learning curve the whole time. Sometimes they're not even aware that they're learning, you know, because it, they're enjoying themselves. And I think that's that's the biggest positive is the fact that he's he loves coming. He's in a good mood all the time. His confidence is tenfold. You know, there's no comparison. And people, even people who see him every day, can see it. It's been the making of him. It really has. It's probably the most positive thing he's ever done.